It's a beautiful Sunday morning. We just rigged the boat now. We're gonna go for some tuna today in the canyon. Yeah. are. Let's see what happens. We're gonna run out now and hopefully catch some tuna today. Alright, we just stopped here at the point. There's some birds working. So we're just gonna make a couple of casts and then run to the deep. Let's see what happens. Uh, this is a katonko. I also video again. Let's see the new skin. Here's katonko, let's I am blue. Katonko. Here we go. Just got a nice long fin. Yeah, crab was hard enough. There we go. It's also long. Yeah, I'm That's a double. You can hit. Yeah, nice fine for now. That's a move fight with the lander. Yes, I can stand. Yeah, I can't stand. Yeah, I can't stand. Yeah, I see him. Massive, you know, I see him when I fear I'm just a kilo for sir. Moi, man. Eindelijk om op die gehaak het, en die is even dikker, daar is 19 kilo lijn. Maar dat is fijn. Ah, oh, je gaat even een loopje. Thank me for a walk. point now looking for some yellowtail and uh, katonko unfortunately we lost that yellow fin so yeah hopefully we get a consolation prize a yellowtail or a katonko
Passei. Oi, Oi. 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 Hier is mijn stok. Hier is mijn stok. Waar is het Dat is een vis, ik bedoel het papa, dat is een groot geelster. Waar is hij? Ja. Ja, dat is een mooie. Waar is hij? Mooi vis. Alright guys, we had a lovely day in the deep and at the point. Uh, we got one longy, lost a very nice yellowfin, and uh, we got a couple of yellows and a couple of control. So yeah, I think it was a very successful day, and uh, we're heading back to our island now. And after that, we'll pick up a uh, nice yellow turtle or something. Okay, guys, so here's the long fin we got. Just show you how to. Loin of tuna, very nice. You cut, but you don't cut entirely through. You just want to go through the skin there. Okay. Do the same on the other side, at the top side. You cut, but you don't cut entirely through. Here is obviously the bloodline of the tuna. I'll show you guys now how to cut the skin off. I'm just doing the same that I just did now on the other side. Okay, now I'm going to take the skin off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut through here all the way to there just to avoid the bloodline and get the nice meat out. But I'm also not cutting straight through at the moment. I'll do that just now. As for when you take the skin off, you kind of want the meat still to be pretty firm. Look at that. Easy as pie. Pull the skin off. The belly side is normally the more difficult part. But uh, you just cut a little bit off it. I just normally cut here at the bottom, at the belly section, to avoid it tearing the belly completely because the belly is a bit softer than the top loin. So I just try and miss most of the belly. And then I do the same here. That's what I did on the top side. And I just peel it off. And there we go. The one side done. I'm gonna do the other side quickly. There we 
go. And there we go. Here's your entire long fin. Ready to get loined properly and uh, skinless. Right, now I just cut down the cut I just made. As you can see there's the dark meat, the bloodline's lying right here. Now, I just cut straight down the bone. Towards the backbone. And, in theory, this should just fall off once this is done. Look at that. Look at that lovely loin. Later we'll just cut this little part of bloodline left here. Just cut that out. I'll show you the difference in the meat color. You can clearly see the normal nice meat and then the bloodline meat, the energy or blood rich muscles. And there's the one loin done. I'm gonna put it in there for now. Then do the belly loin. The belly loin's normally the, the less perfect loin as it's got more bones and stuff in it. There's the belly loin. Now just the other side. You see there's the dark meat again, which we can just cut out. And it's not that this isn't edible, it's still perfectly edible, but it's just a bit more bitter than the normal meat. You can cook this up for your cats, for your dogs, or whatever. And you can even eat it yourself. But yeah, we just prefer the cleaner meat. Here's the other loin. And there we go, all four loins done and dusted. Okay, so here's our long fin, which we cut into loins earlier. I'm just gonna cut it into blocks for our sweet and sour tuna susatis. Our other ingredients here is fresh cut pineapple pieces. We got some red peppers, we got some onion, and then we got some sweet and sour sauce here with a little bit of soya sauce for taste. What I've also done here is I've soaked some susati sticks in hot water uh, so that it doesn't burn on the fire. So yeah, let me just show you how to cut this. Just cutting it straight down, the loin. Turning it sideways, and then cutting similar size blocks to our other ingredients. Nice little blocks. I'm just gonna do the same on the other loin. There we go. And now we're gonna put it on the society sticks. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on a long fin block, a piece of onion, a piece of red pepper, and a piece of pineapple. And then just repeat the process. Long fin block, onion piece, red pepper, pineapple and then lastly long fin block and just a piece of pineapple and there we go look how tasty that looks we're just gonna make the rest and uh, then we're gonna season it a bit and then put the sweet and sour sauce there we go look at that look at the lovely color on it now we're gonna season it 
and then get the sweet and sour sauce and then we're ready to put them on the bright. Okay, so now I'm just going to put some salt and pepper over it. Just try and get the pepper pretty much everywhere. Then some salt. There we go. And now the sweet and sour sauce. And that's now just going to marinate for a while. And then that's ready to go on the fire. That's going to be approximately five minutes each side. Coals are pretty hot. And then that's going to be done. So as our tuna susotis are frying, I'm just continuously marinating it so that uh, the meat doesn't go dry and we don't have dry tuna susatis. So, yeah. All right, I'm just flipping the susatis over and I'm just gonna marinate them again, probably the last time. The smell is absolutely delicious. Can't wait for these to be done. Okay, susatis are absolutely ready now. So, I'm just gonna take them off. I'm just gonna put them in the buck with the basting. And there we go. That's gonna be our supper. Looks delicious. It's really good. Well done. Delicious. Okay, before I finish my meal, I've got one thing waiting for you guys. I've got an octopus in the fridge and I really don't have a recipe. I've seen Raymond the Brain doing one, but I want a new recipe. So I want you guys to comment and tell me what recipe you guys like the most and uh, the one that gets the most likes I will do in my next catch cook video. Thank you guys.